let's talk then about how do I generate my, my email list. The sort of immediate thing would be to say, all right, let's take the fields that we're going to use as our criteria. This is all of the fields in our query in the order, in the same order that I uh, put them in when I created my report the first time. So from here, I can pull in the fields that I'm going to work with. Remember, I have three fields here toward the top that I mentioned as being my kind of criteria fields that I would use for choosing what was going to be in my list. I've got MM stage, GM version, state. So I'm going to pull those three fields in, and I'll put them up here in the page area. Now, you don't have to move them to the page area, by the way. You can go directly into the report if you wanted to, if you wanted to you know, drop them in, something like that. In this case, I'm going to put them right up toward the top there. So those are the ones that I will use for my criteria for choosing the list of where I'm going to send to. So again, remember, we're generating an email marketing list. And we're going to do this on the basis of something. We don't want to necessarily just blast out an email to everybody in the entire database. We want to go to some subset that makes sense. In this case, the field that I've got here is years. Now, the years, in this case, relate to the create on date. So maybe what I want to do is go to send an email to not to the people who were added to our database just this year, although, although that, that could be one way to go. Maybe what I really want to do is go to some older ones that were added much earlier in the history. So I could isolate on, say, let's, let's take the ones where the years are, let's say, 2000 and earlier. These old ones that I'll send an email to to just say, are you still out there, maybe. How I choose these, I could go a couple of different ways. I could do a regrouping that just has an ending date, let's say everything up through 1-1-2000, or actually 1231 2000 maybe, 12-31-2000. Okay, so I've just regrouped, and I'm going to take out that the month's detail again. So here's everything that's past our date. I can just turn those off, right-click and hide, or actually probably a little more obvious way would be to go to my drop-down and turn it off there. So that isolates me down on, on 620 records. Knowing that I've got that criterion now, I can just move this up to the top, and I'm still focused on the 620. And of those... Maybe I want to pull in my stage field. Actually, I'm probably also going to want to pull in my account type field. Account type in Goldmine, this is my this happens to be a key one field. And there's probably only going to be certain ones of these that I want to work with. Let's go with uh, end users would be the most likely way to go here. So let's go with the or actually let's go with VARs. So let's go with these are resellers of gold mine. These are ones that were all added quite a number of years ago. And our stage field happens to be, this is another field that we have in Mastermind, a user-defined field that is a finer, this essentially tells us where are they in our sales process, in our, in our funnel. So again, I would make my selection within the records I started with. I've just gone with the bars here who were added to the database some years ago. And these are really more or less arbitrary criteria that I'm using. But let's say that I want to go to oh, everybody whose uh, stage in our process is 61 or higher, that would kind of make sense here, except for the ones that have sort of gone out the top. So that would be a subset there. Let's make a group. This is my 61 or higher group. And this is just by way of kind of demonstrating a slicing and dicing activity. So I've, I've narrowed down. There's 86 VARs who have been in our database for some number of years. And actually, I just show the, the years that are that are still turned on there. You can see it's all up through the year 2000. And I've isolated on these ones that are 61 or higher. So, so when I double click on there, now I've got my fields here. This includes the email addresses. Now I don't have email merge codes for most of these. That may be something that I'm going to work with. We'll talk about that when we come back into it. So I've isolated the 86 that I want to send this email to. The quick and sort of easy thing to do here, the, the most common thing to do, would be to say, all right, let's go ahead and send an email to these guys. And typically, I would use the create a goldmine group function.